Welcome to Multiple Nerdgasm with your hosts, Matt, Luke, and Dan. Multiple Nerdgasm, your guide to all things nerdy. So last week I came up with a price for uh, making Baby Yoda. Yes. I've already been undercut. <laughs> by, by quite a lot. Yeah. Quite a lot. So just to recap, Luke, you and, and and without any expertise in puppet making, have quoted At the all. listeners ten thousand dollars <laughs> for a working animatronic of Baby Yoda. To be to be yep. fair, he had to learn a lot of skills. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think a lot of that ten thousand dollars goes to him going to uni and learning to be a fucking <laughs> yeah. mechanic and a puppeteer. Because mm-hmm. there's a lot you got to learn how to make, like the rubber or the latex, and then the electronics, and then <laughs> I, I actually yeah. think that signals the, and- the real Baby Yoda puppets probably not just made by one dude. Yes, probably, and it was probably so- a guy that had a bit of experience before they hired him. That's probably a large portion of the cost went to uh, uh, <laughs> wages. No, I'd still say a large portion of the cost went. This is Disney walking in, yeah. jacket up, went straight up their arm, like million dollars. Do you think maybe Disney's going to buy one of these these sideshow collectible ones now? And yeah, that'll just be what's in the in the in the Mandalorian season two. Yeah, those guys are fired. <laughs> so how much is a how much is a Baby Yoda cost off the shelf? Three hundred and fifty bucks, or oh. six easy payments of fifty two dollars fifty. I will say this: I am tempted. To buy, I, I'm tempted. I think we're all tempted. This thing's pretty. No, adorable. no, not sexually. I'm saying just to, no, no, just no, to no, buy no. it. No, I think uh, or, or rent it for for an hour uh, in a cheap hotel room. <laughs> Baby Yoda is fifty. <laughs> uh-huh. no. Yeah, yeah. Baby Yoda's been legal for fucking thirty two years. Okay, we all call it Baby Yoda. And it's a child, but when you actually think about it. He's not quite acting like a child. No, but you know what? Of Here's one <laughs> of those things. I'm usually resentful of times where I have to say something wrong just to not look like a dickhead. But but I am I'm on the side of sure. the baby Yoda people here because anyone who calls it the child is like, do you mean baby Yoda? Like, come on, <laughs> hardcore not- fans know him as baby Yoda. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, we know he's not Yoda. On Reddit, there's like people that have like, here's my painting of the child. Yeah. Well, that's it's the like, official no, name. It's isn't a painting it? of Baby Yoda. So. But I was thinking about like when you see him walking around like drinking his coffee, <laughs> like he, he knows his what he's coffee. doing. He's not a child. He's just small. <laughs> he knows just what he's doing. Give himself a cup of Joe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this fucking this I guess doll is is so detailed. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Okay. I mean, I haven't looked under his little jerkin, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> he is no, anatomically like... correct. <laughs> the the fucking detail on that. There's a close up of his head with the hairs on his fucking yeah. head and the eyes. Like Jesus Christ, this thing's fucking. This thing's cool, you know man. What? I think I've decided I'm I'm getting one. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, uh, I I can't not have a baby Yoda. Deckard would love to play with this. <laughs> That's my dog, <laughs> for the record. <laughs> Not the name of your Six, dick. <laughs> Ooh, the one thing I'm actually worried about is not so much the cost as how much shipping would be. Yeah. Where's it, where's it shipping from? Like a Dago bar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, probably not an issue for me, but anymore. No, no, you, you nice. will be fine. So you live in Dago bar. But for me... That's Even right. when I, I'm on the website now, actually looking, and it actually says international shipping may be restricted. Oh no! <laughs> so right the pre orders are now open. The child, life sized figure, life sized. Wink. <laughs> Sixteen point five inches tall. Size of life. There you go. Well, there you go. This adorable little creature. I mean, this one doesn't um, yeah. do anything. Matt, Matt, what do you want it to do, mate? Well, Luke's was going to be animatronic, right? It was going to, it was going to, you know, well, presume steal shit that. off my desk. And uh, oh, wow! Go on. So <laughs> I can get it shipped to you. Okay. Mm-hmm. I thought he was just going to be quietly amused about something or shocked yeah. about something, and then anyway, no, I'm just amazed. I can get it shipped to you, and it's for like thirty-five bucks. Huh. nice. Well, they're well, a big no, company. that's tax. That's tax they're putting on. I don't think they've charged. 
I don't think I'm getting part of charged shipping. Well, hmm. I mean, it's only a pre-order right now. That's probably why you're not being yeah. charged shipping. It's because they're not actually going to ship. Also, it's, oh. it's, it's Sideshow Collectibles. They're a fucking huge company and they sell stuff in Australia. So oh, okay. mm. they, can, they can figure that out. Never mm. got anything from them before, but that's going to change. He's mm-hmm. sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you will weep when you see him. <laughs> Use the puppet, you cowards. <laughs> And then if I get this guy and then I start as this is my starting point and then I turn him into the puppet. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you hollow out the inside. Wait, this like, is like, getting yeah. weird again. Yeah, yeah, your wife comes in, you're fucking putting a fucking hole in the backside of this thing. <laughs> no. That's just for my head. You know what she'd fine. say? You know what your wife would say if she saw that? She'd just be like, don't make a mess, please. Yeah, <laughs> vacuum that up. Yeah. I don't like vacuuming. Oh, you don't like doing dishes either, I've heard. Mm. I'm not good at it. Yeah. No, no, no. Hannah said he doesn't like getting his hands wet. That's what she said. There's also that I don't like getting my hands or my face wet. Yeah. How fucking Wait, convenient. Uh, what, how, when are you getting your face <laughs> wet washing up? No. That's, that's not to do with washing up. That's just- Oh, unrelated. I, I don't like washing up because I hate my getting my face wet. Brackets. Unrelated. <laughs> I tried using my hands and I didn't like it, so I met, tried some other options. <laughs> yeah. Also didn't like it. I mean, I can't complain. I have a housekeeper, so I don't vacuum or wash the dishes. But, oh, you, you know, I get you, Luke. I get you. Yeah. I just do my dishes. Enjoy having minimum wage, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it back in my face. Look how dirty this is. Wait, what? Yeah, I just heard... Uh, I just heard the tail end he of that. He just whipped something so out and said, look how dirty yeah. this is. <laughs> I bet when I, I know, I do I try, when I do try to wash dishes, I don't do a good job and I get, mm. it gets pointed out to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I like how the yeah. solution is, I just oh, I can't do it. Yep. Yeah. I do a I just, bad I'm job. I'm just not good at it. <laughs> yeah. and it's, I'm not trying to do a bad job. I just do yeah. things I am not good at. How many times did you give it a go before you just said, look, I'm never going to be good at this. Just, just let me off. <laughs> like twice? <laughs> And what other yeah. husbandly duties did you uh, use the same philosophy for? No, we don't, don't, we don't want to go there. We don't have to go fair, there. Fair, 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 fair. We got any other Star Wars news, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> we do. Do you guys see, I, I, I put this in, uh, in our little, little chat uh, mm. earlier mm. in the week. There was a, a, I only saw this on Twitter. I didn't see a lot of articles about this. Oh, they, they, there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that, Matt. Yeah. So the Rise of Skywalker art book. That mm-hmm. uh, that was coming out, got shipped out to to stores, but then got recalled like at the last mm-hmm. minute. I want to know how uh, it got that far to begin with. A few copies, apparently, from, from what I saw on Twitter, a few copies got out into the wild because uh, I think they started to sell it in like Korea, and then Disney were like, "No, recall," mm-hmm. and destroyed them all, like Pulse destroyed them. them. Yeah, and uh, and then now they're gonna you know redo another one. And uh, and everyone's like, the fuck is that about? And so now they, somebody who got a copy of it, presumably has scanned it in. Thank you, the internet. Yeah, and they've put up a bunch of this artwork for a different movie Com- that I've yeah, not seen. Completely different. <laughs> that movie. looks fucking great. I must say. Now I assume this is this was Colin Trevorrow's Jewel of the Fates. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's yep. Okay, and, so let's break uh, man, this down because there's some really interesting concept art here for some moments yeah, in a man. film that we'll never see. And to be clear, I liked Rise of Skywalker, but I'd also like to see this movie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the most provocative image for me is of an elderly General Leia putting a message yes. into BB-8 um, in the exact mm-hmm. same framing as the help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. You know what? From I'm gonna, episode I'm gonna four. Say I think we wanted to see that. If we had have seen it, we wouldn't have liked it. <laughs> Maybe. I've seen it. Yeah, There's a picture of it right, right here. Yeah. yeah. I've seen it. That's like concept art. <laughs> if they had have actually filmed that and put no, it in, we would have just gone, eh. Uh, or the internet would have gone. Well, look, it seems, it seems like uh, the climax of Trevorrow's film was in a huge battle on Coruscant. Yes. Which, uh, yeah. I mean, there's some, there's some great concept art here of uh, even... R2-D2 and C-3PO walking through the ruins of Coruscant, which uh, yeah. looks fucking mesmerizing. And uh, you've got the, uh, a stormtrooper revolt 
mm-hmm. joining up with the resistance to fight against the first order, which fucking that's great. Yep. Like yep. yep. I'd love to see You've that. You've got Chancellor Hux uh on his yes. knees with Kylo Ren's lightsaber through him as the city burns behind him, which seems like a much more <laughs> dramatic and interesting death than what we got. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he just got shot. Um, Ray dressed as Luke Skywalker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, holding, with a double holding. ended lightsaber. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Blue. Uh, yep. This this is something I think, like, I, I know what people say. Like, I, I like the idea from what I've heard of uh, Trevor's movie. But if anyone's out there going, we want this over what we got nah. right Skywalker, and you were one of the people that, did not like Rose and were very vocal about it, you're probably the reason why we didn't get Trevor Rose's version. Because <laughs> yeah. from what I've read from Trevor Rose's version, Rose was very prominent. Mm. Yeah. Like she was very much, it was her and Finn that sort of go off together to try and get communications up again. And There's probably more more to it than just that. Because, I mean, they could have just told Trevor, nah, get Rose out of there. But and he's like, no, I love her. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. <laughs> It's her or me, Disney. One of the most striking things about it, apparently, was that that there's very little, if any, artwork of Emperor Palpatine. Uh, no, but you know what there a is. A lot of artwork of this other Sith gentleman named- Tor Valum. Uh, Tor Valum, who was apparently supposed to be Palpatine's Sith mentor. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's and who- he And looks, he looks like a big bloated insect out of a fucking- like Yeah. Do you guys know Rodney Matthews? Who? No. You'd probably know his art by looking mm. at old sci-fi novel covers from the 70s. Oh, okay. But this, a- this type of creature art really reminds me of, of his stuff. I used to have some of these on my wall when I was a teenager. Oh, yeah, I just Googled. Yeah, this, I like, this kind of stuff is good. Uh, yeah. So. yeah. I am kind of happy that we didn't get Tor Vallum, though. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because that sort of... Really doesn't make any sense with like the rule of two and stuff. I oh, fuck the uh, rule of two. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too not too concerned about that. No, but nah. if that's your only reason for not including this, I'm fucking not on board. <laughs> Ooh, okay, then where where was this guy throughout the entire fifty years or whatever? Just sitting in a swamp. Where the fuck was, uh, what was his name? Starkiller or whatever. Like they've, it's, it's not like they've had characters just kind of disappear for a bit before. <laughs> Starkiller's not canon anymore though. It makes more <laughs> sense he, he that was. a guy who trained Palpatine and then went, fuck it, I'm off to a swamp. I've got to go shows retire up later. Swamp. Yeah, yeah. And then gets tracked down by Kylo Ren. Then, by the way, I've been alive the whole time. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Palpatine <laughs> yeah. had no right to be in this movie. Yeah. I've just noticed that one of the pics of, uh, of Tor Vallum does have, I don't, what I'm assuming is some Korean text under it, so that confirms the source of the, of the images. So, Ah. Uh, yes, you're right. Korean. So there you go. Oh, Freaking that's a big baby's head. Things. Are you zoomed into that picture? Oh, it is too. Holy shit. I just noticed oh, that. No wonder Disney pulled this. that is grotesque. Fuck oh, me. man. That can't be Fucking from a, a, a Star Wars that, that movie. Would, that would never have made it in. No. <laughs> no. No, well, the one above it where- The one above it, like, yeah. That, that look, yeah, maybe yeah, that was the one that they eye. were like- Yeah. Yeah, but- it's still got an and eye. And now we know what that eye, eye is. That's- Ugh. Then again, I mean, Luke Skywalker did- Milk a fucking walrus. So that's a bit different to a But he shouldn't head. have, Matt. He he shouldn't have. <laughs> you know? But where else? Yeah. Do, he has to show where the blue milk comes from. <laughs> there is also another interesting photo in here. Photo. Piece of concept art. Um, <laughs> which is Kylo Ren versus Darth Vader. So I'm assuming mm. that this storyline was basically a mimic of... Empire Strikes Back, where Luke goes to Dagobah, mm, meets yep. his mentor's mentor, sees a vision of him fighting himself, uh, and this is the same. Kylo Ren goes there, sees a vision of himself fighting Darth Vader. But I would have liked to have seen that, so I'm on board. Yeah, yeah. Look, this looks cool. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure Disney had very good reasons for not not making it, but that's fine. Mm. Whatever. 
Yeah, we got what we got. I'm still happy with what we've got. You yeah, know yeah. what? I'm going to have to I watch it to. again before I know if I'm happy or not because I've kind of forgotten a lot about it. And <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm talking about The Rise of Skywalker. I've forgotten. And yeah, yeah. I, in my head, I'm okay with it. Fucking maybe I should just leave it at that. Yeah, I think just leave it. It's done. It's mm-hmm. over. Let's move on and get some new <laughs> stories happening. <laughs> You know, yeah. you have heard the rumors that they are talking about having another one uh, with Ray coming back, right? I um oh no, please. That has been but I also heard that. That little speech you gave, Luke, I hope that is verbatim how you fucking end relationships <laughs> with women. <laughs> well, no, I'll Look, you know what? Let's not revisit this. It's over. You need to move on. I'm not saying I move on from Star Wars. I'm saying let's move on from that particular story. Is, oh, okay, so this is what Luke says when he's done something wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand. I'm not saying upset. you have to move on from relationships. I'm just saying it might be better that you move on from a relationship with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they want to do another one with. Ray. I, I'm not sure. I, I have heard Casey that Ridley would do that, right? Aren't I, they, they all say they're done with it? I mean, well, I don't know what else she's doing now, but I haven't. She hasn't said that. Um, but I know well, that- she's the Luke Skywalker of of these new films, isn't she? So I assume that her yeah. career from now on is the occasional guest appearance and some voiceover work. <laughs> Can't wait to see her. Yeah, in the she'll be voicing the Joker soon. Yeah, <laughs> and all the peripheral characters in full throttle, which I played this week because <laughs> Luke, you mentioned it a couple of weeks ago on air, and I still haven't got to play it yet, Luke. I. Honestly, I remember there being a lot of cutscenes and not a lot of gameplay, and fuck me, it, it, it's even worse than I remembered. Really? If you want to watch a movie and occasionally click around a screen, then put on full throttle. But like, if you want to play a game, there's, there's but better But how else to play. do I support Mark Hamill? Um, I think Mark Hamill's fine. Yeah, how about uh, I, I Wing a- Commander 4? Oh, I do want to play through those <laughs> games again. They were great games. <laughs> they, were, they were, yeah. When he, got, he, when he played opposite a porn star. Who? In Wing Commander and, 3. And, and Biff from Back to the Future. Yeah. In Wing Commander 3, <laughs> yeah. there, was t- there was two love interests, and mm. one of them was a porn star. In the game in or the, in real in, life? No, in yeah, real in life. Story or just, oh, okay. She was huh. an actor trying to cross Who over. Who was she? Uh, Ginger yeah. Lynn Allen or something. Hmm. Yelin Allen. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ginger, Ginger Lynn. Lynn. And I don't know why I know this. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I Let know me why see you know. if I can figure out why you know this. Ginger Dan's Lynn. now on uh, Alan. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. What? No, just time is kinder to some people than to others. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, she, she has had a bit of a hard life. Oh, my God, you guys. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not get, being derogatory to women. Women are Ginger allowed Lynn. to age. <laughs> hey, here's a great picture of her with fucking Sid Haig. So they were obviously oh, yeah. friends. <laughs> obviously. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. I got a photo of me with Lance Henriksen, my friend. It's signed, but I can't figure out um, <laughs> which one of them signed it for which other. Uh, <laughs> no, is you're right though, Luke. When when you know, around that era she was she was very pretty. She has a bit of a crack whore vibe about it now. But, uh, <laughs> you know. I only, I only know her, her from business. two things. Uh, she was in this and she was from in. From two things. Two things. <laughs> What's the other one? Don't say it. Don't say what the other one is. <laughs> uh, there was a police academy knockoff called Vice Academy. Oh, yeah. I've heard of that. <laughs> she was I've in that. Of that too. <laughs> Vice Academy. Oh, yeah. Series of six films. I didn't they know they had that six many. Vice Academies? Jeez. Yeah. I, don't, I think I saw two. There you go. Well, I watched, uh, I watched something finally that I had been saying that I wanted to watch. And uh, I know, Luke, you've seen it. I don't, Dan, you probably have not seen this. Uh, I watched Terminator Dark Fate. Ooh, oh, what did you think? right. I've not seen it. The latest Terminator film directed by Tim Miller. And uh, starring Linda Hamilton and Arnold Schwarzenegger again. You know, I've seen a great movie that stars Linda Hamilton and Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's called The Original Two Terminator Films. 
<laughs> and uh, and yep. anytime I'm tempted to watch a Terminator film, a- anytime Hollywood starts fucking buzzing about making a new one, I'm just going to go back and watch those two because they're great. Yeah, just do that. I mean, this one, <laughs> I, th- I really, I honestly, I think Linda Hamilton summed it up when she said, it's fine. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I did, I, I just... It's fine. I don't. It's not a terror. It. It's not a yeah. It's not a terror movie. But no one's really asking for Terminator movies. Like Look, it's guys, got a lot of really James interesting Cameron stuff in needed it. Needed the money for another submarine. <laughs> How else is he going to make it? No one's going to pay him for fucking Avatar. It's got a lot of really interesting ideas in it, but then it Such as? also just has a bunch of dumb, weird shit in it. Like it, they should have just gone all in on the weird. Okay, so uh, Mackenzie Davis plays a you know she's sent back from the future so. You don't, you don't care about spoilers, right? It's past oh, no, two weeks. Film that, that, yeah, it's well past two weeks. All right, so I'm going to talk about spoilers for Terminator Dark Fate, like just openly. So if you don't want okay? to listen, skip ahead about 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes. Well, th- okay, so the first five minutes of the film, it shows uh, Sarah Connor and John, uh, Eddie Furlong mm-hmm. in Mexico, just no. after Terminator 2, Edward so they've been Furlong? youngified. Well, yes, but as a, a child. Yeah, as a child. Oh. So it's just CG him as a child. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. Oh, okay. But was Edward Furlong a- involved in the shooting of this? And then they just superimposed I- a baby face no. over him? No, no. He might have done a skinny, a, done junky the voice. Body. I can't remember if he says anything. But no, 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 because it's literally him. He was hitting on a girl. Yeah. yeah so they're at like a, a tiki bar in Mexico somewhere. Okay. Uh, and then uh, a Terminator walks in and kills him. Sure. Which oh, sort of okay. makes sense because why would you send one? Right. So, in other words, moments after Terminator 2 finishes, yep. they go off yeah. to Mexico and then the whole thing is all fucking over. Uh, yeah, it's, That's sort of interesting. Like that, it's sort of like that, what they did in Alien 3 where you get invested in characters and then they just go, ah, they're dead, don't worry about them. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it would have been hard to bring him back for a whole film, I think. Yeah, so he gets killed. Uh, but then the, pre- the premise is that they did stop Judgment Day, mm-hmm. and they prevented Skynet. That Judgment um, Day. But, but multiple Terminators were sent back, and one of them killed John. And then what happened to the Terminator after that? Just hung around in Mexico, I guess. Well, he, uh, really? I'll tell you. If you want, I'll tell you what he did. He wandered he did. off, continued to learn. Uh, Started a family? <laughs> to America, met a woman who had an abusive husband, saved, rescued her and a kid. Uh, started, formed a relationship with them and got a job selling drapes. And his name is Carl. What? <laughs> no, not a lie. You're making this up. <laughs> you are making this no. up. So Arnie that is plays complete. A, no, what? No. Arnie plays a Terminator who who lives in Texas and has what? a family. And his no. name is Carl. And they don't know that he's a robot because he, he's he, just uh, a nice guy. Hold on. Yeah, he says he says I'm very caring. And, pr- and good and helpful, and I am very funny. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Carl. Carl's drapes. Yep. He sells drapes. You don't believe us, do you? No. I'm dead serious. And then he discovers that you can, um, you can predict when a Terminator is going to come through because there's disturbances. And so he starts texting Sarah Connor the location where Terminators are going to appear because over time, as he developed a relationship with his family, he realized what he'd taken from her and he, because they're programmed to become more human over time. So he texts her. She gets these messages, so he texts these her. text messages that say it's coordinates and it just says for John. And so she goes to these coordinates, Terminators appear, she kills the Terminator and that's what she's been doing with her life since that happened. And then- Which here uh, back just sounds ridiculous. <laughs> well, it it gets more ridiculous too. It all kind of falls apart when you when you start thinking about it, as any sequel to Terminator Two does, because Terminator Two kind of wrapped everything up. Mackenzie Davis gets sent back because John is no longer the leader of the resistance because everything changed in the future. It's not Skynet anymore. It's we still invent an AI that turns bad. It's called Legion, and uh, and someone else is a leader in the future. And I guess I'm just going to spoil it. It's this girl, Danny, this Mexican girl, Danny, and. Uh, and so they send this Rev-9 Terminator, which has got a metal endoskeleton and a T-1000-style liquid thing, so it can split into two. Which okay. is pretty cool. I don't understand. It is, well, it's cool visually, yeah. but it also, it, like, why not just have two liquid ones? That's even better. Why don't so, yeah, I, don't I don't understand why 
having a skeleton inside a T-1000 would have made the T-1000 better, but fine. Whatever. Well, it means that the, the skeleton can drive the truck while the liquid one... So just you send know, a things, fucking so. T-800 to drive a truck or make a truck that's a <laughs> robot. Yeah, just send two Terminators. Yeah, I know. It's, it, 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 it's just a cool visual thing. It's, you know. And then Mackenzie Davis gets sent back. She's an augmented person from the future. So okay. she's got like Terminator bits in her, but she's human. Uh, oh. and then Which bits, Matt? They all team up. <laughs> uh, she's got like... I, I, She's got like armor plating under her skin and stuff, and and like she can scan things with her eyeballs. I don't know. They don't really go into it too much. Have they done a Terminator movie set in the future yet? Yeah, Terminator Salvation. They did. Okay. So I'm guessing. Was, yeah. I was going to say because that's a movie I might like to see. And uh, well, no, I don't. That's the one Christian Bale is famous look, for. Look, abusing about everybody twenty on. minutes of that movie was quite good. Yes. So I don't know. It just it, I quite liked. The movie and and I find some of that stuff is interesting. Uh, like I'm okay with it. I did. At first, I was like, "No, he doesn't sell drapes. <laughs> he does." And there's a scene where he's just where they're waiting for this guy to show up, and they're all like, "This this military guy is going to deliver like an EMP thing to them." And he's talking to Danny, and he's like, "Some people, you know, they want to choose these horrible colors for the baby's bedroom." I'm like, "No, you need to put butterflies and or balloons." <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Well, Linda Hamilton, I'm she's speechless. sort of come out this week as well and basically said she won't be back. No. <laughs> but I think part of it is no, also, well, is I think she might be sort of done with Hollywood now. That wouldn't surprise From me. From the way she get this, like she's basically saying like the audience now is just so unpredictable and she doesn't like the, she doesn't like the idea of this like high risk financial venture, like how, Movies now you need to spend three hundred million dollars on, and yeah, yeah, which I think is ridiculous as well. I also I was thinking about this today. A movie can cost like one hundred fifty million dollars, and it's considered a flop if it makes two hundred million dollars. Mm. Everyone got paid, mate. No one invests in a film to get their money back. Yeah, they spend more than that on marketing. Often too, mm. the marketing budget is often more than the, the budget of making the film. Well, even with um, what was it? Uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. The marketing budgeting on that was huge. Mm. That's see. I feel like I would have liked this movie if it didn't have so much dumb CGI action. And I don't know because uh, we we tried to watch. I put Alita: Battle Angel on. Last God, night, that's a great then, movie. Oh. Jen, Jen did not like movie. it. I didn't like it either. I love that movie. Really? Yeah. See, I love it too. Um, but, and that's got a lot of CGI in it, but mm. I don't, th- that worked for me. Whereas this, I think it just seems like, like a lot of the action scenes, like there's a, there's a bit where they've got to kill this Terminator, right? And Danny, who's like the leader of the resistance, right? She's the only person that really matters in this story, right? She's got to survive. She just, she's got this thing to kill it, but then she just decides to get into like a fist fight with it. Like- <laughs> Like, cause she's, uh, I'm like, what are you doing? Just, <laughs> just use the fucking yeah, thing. Push the button. You're done. But the the reason is because they wanted to have a sequence of her fighting a Terminator, but it's like, it doesn't even make any sense. The thing should just, should just snapped her neck and be done with it. Like, Here's the thing know, about Terminator. Why do you have to, Terminator why that was a great there? movie with a beginning, a middle and an end. Right. But because it was about time mm. travel, they said, you know what? There could actually be a spin on this that like changes what happened. And they made that movie, yeah. and it was Terminator Two, and it was even better than the first one. And then that ended, <laughs> sure. and that was all we needed. Mm. But see, I was thinking about it. I'm like, Terminator Two had a lot of visual effects, but it didn't really. It's it's kind of like Jurassic Park in that sense that it's got some very specific ones, and mm-hmm. then ninety five percent of the movie is actually stuff happening. Yeah, there's like- the scene where he goes through the prison bars. Hmm. Yes. And then most other scenes, it cuts back and he's changed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's one where he gets shot with, uh, in the head and it splits mm-hmm. and then it like goes. Yeah. I think the reason why together. we're coming back to we like that is there's sort of like single shot things, but it's, it's a slow, slow part of the movie. Like it's not with mm. a lot of the CGI fights we don't like now. It's because they're so fast. Well, and they don't, it doesn't look real. It doesn't look real. Like, and I think a lot of the time now in a lot of these ones is they're doing these big fight scenes, but the story's not actually progressing anymore. There's no more 
the fight is telling a story anymore. It's they're fighting and then we'll go back to the story once they're finished. Yeah. yeah. No, not for me. Also, I could be remembering this wrong, but is there a reason that the Terminator knew where they were going in this movie? I just, that bugged me as soon as it happened. Like he goes, Sarah Connor, so they're, they're trying to get away from this Terminator. Sarah Connor says, you should stick with me because there are cameras everywhere in this world. And, uh, and then the Terminator is probably going to use them to figure out where you are. And so he, and then it shows him, you, you know, hacking into this mainframe and he's looking through all the security cameras and then it comes up with the location of where they are and then it moves and it shows the location of where they're going. And I was like, what? <laughs> How the fuck did it do it that? I may have overheard something, or it may have been something was cut from the movie, which you do see every now and again. Something will, they'll cut something to save time or whatever, and they'll think, ah, the audience won't notice. Yeah, could have cut, could have cut a few more things, in my opinion. But <laughs> it wasn't, definitely wasn't the worst sequel to Terminator 2. <laughs> <laughs> that what would you consider though. to be the worst at this stage? Maybe it's got to be Genesis, right? Mm, or number three, yeah. Terminator Three. Yeah, three. The original cut is like I said, the, the one I've seen the most is I have a fan edit that I got off mm-hmm. uh, from Italy a long time ago, and uh, which is a better kind of a better version of that movie. A sure. fan I'm, edit. I've so they've seen that they one just the took most. The actual movie and cut that down, or they yeah, they just re Claire the Danes movie. from it. <laughs> no, she's still in there. It's just. Actually, I don't even really remember the. I don't remember what the differences are. Like, uh, I'd have to, you know, I have to look into it. But I'm not interested, uh, Matt. I, don't bother looking into it. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the only version of Terminator Three that I that I have available to me mm-hmm. uh, right now. So, I, yeah, I guess that's not a fair assessment. Anyway, Terminator Dark Fate. It's all right. It's not <laughs> definitely not the worst movie. Uh, <laughs> I've Print that lately. on the was, poster. It, I in. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It just there was a lot of things that made me go. Oh, I wish that didn't. I wish they didn't do that. Oh and, come on! You know, I actually think Matt's review is better than Linda Hamilton's. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's, <laughs> Matt's like, definitely, yeah, he's certainly more praising of this film than Linda Hamilton was. I mean, she was good in it. it was I nice did to it see her, for the money. You know, Sarah Connor. <laughs> it was nice to see her as Sarah Connor again. She was good. Does uh, Mackenzie um, play uh, Davis? Okay. Does she play Sarah Connor as a younger woman? Sorry, I, I tuned out for a bit. No, no, she's a she's the soldier from the future. Mm. Okay, Grace, right. also sent by John, or just that storyline? No, no, John doesn't exist dead. in the in their future. Sent by, well, sent by Danny. Oh, okay. So Arnie T one hundred Mark two killing John in Mexico means that John never starts the revolution in the future. Yep. And so, so, so happens, he never, hold on. So he never sends back Kyle Reese to impregnate his mother and then he's never born and therefore no. he's never killed in Mexico. Yep. Well, the, the Terminator has now, now exists in branching timelines. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So they kind of oh, okay. established no, that on, in some of on. the other sequels. They don't. Okay, fine. You, you, you can't. So, you can't. Try and pick a branching a timelines movie. was never a thing. No, <laughs> there was never there was no multiverse in Terminator. Okay, if you change the past, yeah, you change I know the future. Yeah, no, no, I know what you mean, but, but the, the, well, the, well, that's that's no, the way they're going. No, with it because now. So, even with the first one, if you change the past, you change the future. But if no, you change you, the past, it was always destined to be that way, because even in the original timeline, John Connor was still born. And Kyle Reese was always his father, which meant he always came back from the future, which means there was that is the only way that <laughs> timeline can work. You can't change your past because that's your past. So you can't change the future that is your past. Let's not try to pick in. You know what? Some other time travel let's, movie uh, recently that was like- Marvel, um, Endgame. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. right. You're right. It was but even they yeah, didn't yeah, listen yeah, to yeah. themselves. No. No, of course not. No, because it's bullshit. You can't. The worst one was, uh, sorry, Ryan Johnson. The worst one was Looper. Oh, Looper was garbage. Where Literally, scars to you in the past. are appearing on your yeah. body in real time <laughs> as they're being carved yeah. onto you in the past. Fuck off, Ryan Johnson. Yeah. Fuck right off. <laughs> <laughs> I think probably if you don't think about it too much, that that might work, you know. But I can't Garbage. not think about it. Oh, sorry. There's, so uh, you there's only cut- two time travel movies you ever need to watch. Number Back one to is Future? Back to the Future. And number two Primer. is Primer. 
Yeah. Let's talk about something not related to time travel. Because we're all getting angry over it. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we hear from uh, from another podcast for a little bit? You've heard enough of us. Let's hear a little word from another podcast. All right, now, Matt, you've now had two weeks to generate some dick news, and I want to know what your old fella's been up to. Because I've got some big dick news coming next week, so I want to, that's definitely your <laughs> hey, turn. Hold on, hold on. Matt, st- next let's week. just hold on for one sec. Do you mean <laughs> next week you'll have some dick news that is big, or next week you'll have some news that is about <laughs> big dicks? About a big dick. Why not both? Where is the hyphen? Where is the hyphen? <laughs> I will tell I was you. Watching- t- I mean, I don't. This is not news about my dick, but I will say a listener said to me, oh, mate, Luke is not going to have a good time. Oh, oh poor thing. <laughs> I mean, we already scared Luke out of getting a fucking a tooth extraction from his wisdom teeth. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean. Oh, I do have a story about that. Your dick. Okay. So, so remember- I, I mean, I don't have. My dick's not been up to. Anything exciting? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it. That's Please not true, tell me, Cheddar is editing. <laughs> Same old shit, mate. No, but uh, <laughs> nothing I want to talk about. <laughs> oh, Jesus, well, I am I mean, ashamed we, of what it's yeah, done. Do we need to have a discussion <laughs> off air? <laughs> I'm not proud of it. Okay. Just speaking of where the hyphen goes, I um I, I saw a great I was watching a um watching a Netflix crime doco the other day um about someone who used to be a human trafficker, but they put the hyphen between X and human, not between human and trafficker. So it didn't imply that he was formerly a trafficker of X-human. humans. It implied that he was a trafficker <laughs> of people that were formerly human. And I that tickled me. It really tickled me. I'm like, ex <gasps> human. <laughs> <laughs> this week I have teeth mm. news. Okay. Oh, sorry, I got Wait, confused. The teeth are not related to the dick. Teeth are not related to the dick. Okay. So mm. remember how I was messaging you and saying I think I've got wisdom teeth, like jaw yeah. hurts, and you yeah. all telling me how terrible it's going to be. Yeah, and then well, you well, I'm, I'm ended not, up I, saying, I, you know I'm what? No it's idea, probably yes. it's probably just residual radiation. Well, <laughs> I went to the dentist. Mm-hmm. And uh-huh. pretty much, yeah, it's late effects from chemotherapy and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But the, she, mm-hmm. the reason why you, my jaw's probably out is actually just stress. Oh. That You're just I've, clenching your teeth, I'm mate. I'm just clenching my teeth, and it's just causing me this pain. Damn. I mean, so I don't want to- go wanna, limp, Luke. Just go I limp. I don't want to go into any details uh, about what you do for a living, Luke. Mm-hmm. But your job does seem to demand an awful lot from you. It does. If you don't mind me yeah. saying- and I'm a very giving person. <laughs> if you do say so yourself. I mean, I've, I, I'm speaking of someone who's also got a job that, like, fucking crosses that line between, like, you don't need free time, do you, Danny? <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah. your job makes my job look fucking easy. But if I didn't do it, I couldn't play games. Mm. Or you could play them all the time. No. Just only the ones you've got because you couldn't afford any new ones. could not buy any more, wouldn't get a new Xbox, (laughs) and it's just not worth it. Actually, you know what? That's that's an interesting thought experiment because, Luke, you play games rather quickly, so you probably don't have a backlog. Matt, if you got told right now that you could never, ever buy another video game so long as you should live, Mm. how long Mm -hmm. do you think it would take you to play the games you've already purchased but not played? I have no idea. Actually, I think it wasn't that there was that Steam thing, right? That would tell you your Steam library. But I mean, I've got other consoles, but I, I, probably quite a while. Let's just say just <laughs> Steam. Let's say just Steam. Just Steam. Just All your right. Steam uh, games. Would it last you the rest I've got of your like, life? I've got Civ. I've got like multiple Civs. I've got Stellaris. I've got um, what's that other Endless Space. I've got a lot of those games. I mean, I, I feel like just, just going back playing. and playing through Kingdom Come till the end might take me the rest of my life. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, I'm just King. having a look at my Steam library, and I've probably played maybe 20 of these games. I have 800. So I, I don't buy Steam games anymore. I, I used to buy a lot, and so I have a, a 
silly library because I yeah, used to I've buy it on Steam too. sales. I don't buy anything on Steam anymore. Uh, and I buy the occasional thing on GOG. Mm. But what I, Where I tend to buy I'm most of my, my PC consoles. games now is up just on Humble Bundles. I'll see a bundle oh, yeah. that jumps out at me and they go, ooh, I'll get that. But yeah, I have yes, no, I 800 buy, Steam games. 800. Yep. Hmm. And I don't play any of them. That's quite I don't a lot. get achievements. Well, I, you, I get Steam achievements, but who wants them? So steamy. God, why do I have so many games? Where did I get these games from? <laughs> I don't know, mate. Only you can know that. Steam, I guess. Must be. <laughs> we can assume. <laughs> so we've got uh, we've got a candidate for Geek of the Week, and I I can't imagine Luke's going to have a problem with this. I mean, unless but, he committed suicide. Yeah, never know. For some reason, Luke does What's not that? allow yeah. people who have taken their own lives to be named Geek of the Week. Nope. Not allowed. Well, this is a gentleman by the name of Alan Harris. Does that name ring any bells with you, Luke? I know exactly who you're talking about. Go on. He did a big story arc in Doctor Who. <laughs> okay. He also played the bounty hunter Borsk in The Empire Strikes Back. Wait, you, how do you pronounce that? Bosk. Huh. I always say Bosk. Oh, it maybe it's Bosk. And I always oh. say, they never say the name of this fucking character. No, so you can pronounce it. doesn't have a how... goddamn name. <laughs> you can pronounce it however you want. <laughs> Unnamed alien in Empire standing <laughs> in the background behind some other characters wow. who do get names. Alien costume from Doctor Who, uh, as I understand it. <laughs> Is it the same costume? I think isn't isn't Bosk a Doctor Who character? Yeah, but he played different people in Doctor Who. No, no, no. The costume. Oh, the costume. Yes, is is from Doctor Who. But no, no. Well, I definitely get this guy does get geek of the week. He's in a lot of. He's not just in Star Wars. He's well, in hold a on. Lot of, before we give him Geek of the Week, I still don't know whether it was the costume that was in both Doctor Who and Empire Strikes Back or the actor or both. Yeah, that's a good question. Are you well, telling me that this guy brought his own costume to Empire Strikes Back <laughs> and said, I wore this in another show, and George Lucas went, looks fine. No. Well, I'm telling you that not the head, right? The head, like the, the lizard head, I don't think is, uh, is from Doctor Who, but the, the costume that he's wearing other than that, like the space suit, is from Doctor Who. But and it's also he... worn by other characters in Star Wars. Uh, <laughs> like that costume was worn by an A-Wing pilot uh, in the cantina. But it wasn't even just in there. He's done a lot of other stuff, you know, like Space 1999. Mm-hmm. He was actually in A New All Hope. All in the same costume. <laughs> All in the same costume. He was actually in A New Hope. <laughs> That's why he kept getting hired. He's like, I've got the yeah. costume. And they're like, you are fucking I know a guy hired. with a space suit. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, if you get yourself a space suit and move to Hollywood, you don't know the roles you'd get. <laughs> but yeah, I yeah, he's definitely I will allow Geek It a Week. All right. He was in Space 1999, he was in Flash Gordon, he was a man on the building of the Daily Planet building in <laughs> Superman the movie. That's quite a does fucking This guy credit. just only go for roles in science fiction or does this guy just look grotesque? And so he's like only getting alien movie roles. He's got a lizard head, Dan. What do you want him to do? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Typecast. A, a, a lot of his stuff is just uncredited. Well, that's a shame. They're like, can't just write lizard head, man. I don't want to go and ask him his name. Can we leave his name out of the credits? Are we allowed to do that? Yeah, I'm actually going through his IMDb and like, 99% of it is all just uncredited. Well, I mean, he's credited now, presumably. He's on the I- on IMDb. That's a credit accreditation of a sort, right? He's not in the credits. but Well. Because the extras don't go fucking, in the credits. He's being given the credit of Geek of the Week. Like, that's yeah. going to surpass <laughs> any want? other fucking accolade he's ever gotten. Well, here's, his, here's the jingle. Geek of the Week. And, uh, I, and I, we, I so uh, miss hearing them live. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I went through the motions that I used to go to when I heard it live, though. What? Yeah, I think we I all imagined it. I used so to do, I do little dances for them. Oh, yeah, I right. imagine you doing a little dance. Yeah. Hang on, give me a second. I'll get this sorted out. 
Don't pan. It's okay. I, I still went through the motions. Geek of the week. Geek of the week. Yeah. Since you found that, Matt, can you just have that on standby? Because I think, like, very soon we're going to have to play it for Gene Hackman. Do you guys know that Gene Hackman <laughs> is 90 fucking years old? I did it though he was still alive. God, how's he these like, days? Gene Hackman 2020. Oh, I mean, I mean he's, based on these photos, he's, he's all right. He's looking great, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I assume that no pictures have been taken of him for quite some time. <laughs> I'll be honest, but, he looks uh, better now if these, are, if these are accurate. Oh, you've got looks- some 2020 pictures? Uh, oh, here he some- is. Yeah. He's in a baseball cap and he's standing with an oriental wife. I'm allowed to use the phrase oriental wife, Matt. All okay? right, all right. Back all off. Right. Wife. <laughs> yep. He looks all right. Yeah, he's always, yeah, he looks I always fine. thought he was in, he's kind of an odd looking dude. So he is a big man, though, isn't he? Oh, 6'2. Oh, like, okay. tall, he's yeah, only he's, marginally he's bigger tall. than y'all. <laughs> But he's just to old. me. He's just always one of those people that's just always been old. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because he was always bald, right? He always yeah. had like, yeah, you know, that's very what I'm he, had, he always had like on. that odd, odd hair. Yeah, like, it kind of but embraced. That used it. to be, yeah, but it used to be easier to embrace that, right? Mm. Like there's so many stars from the '80s, which I include Gene Hackman in, Bill Murray, and all of those guys. Like mm. they all had that same hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just just a little mop on top. Yeah, like that. That was cool, and they they fucking worked it. Get on them. <laughs> yeah, I shaved mine off now. You're compensating with the chin, though. Yeah, that's true. I do have a lot of mm. chin hair. You got a mm. you got a great a great amount of chin hair. Luke does too. I'm getting hair in my ears now. I trimmed my ear yeah, hair this, no, this week. No, the that started to happen like, to me as well. I'm going to have to fucking cut these. They're too long now. I, I noticed the- that about a month ago. I had mm. hair out of my ears. So what the hell? That's- yep. Is this the podcast? <laughs> Multiple old man <laughs> gas. We need, we need a jingle that gets played every time we go off on a tangent of like how fucking about old we are now. Old. Yeah. Yeah. Well, soon to be Geek of the Week. Gene Hack. Would you allow G- Gene Hackman Geek of the Week, Luke? Yeah. 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 It's like, oh, yeah. like, it, like it's yeah, obvious. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless he takes his own life, which at then 90, if you kill yourself at 90, Actually, no, it's at like- 90, you're fine. Oh, you're allowed. Really? Oh, yeah. Because a- age is a factor. Okay. Wait, what's you the were- cutoff? Well, it's not so much. Terry Pratchett. Terry Pratchett. Terry Pratchett. I allowed I Terry remember. Pratchett. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, no. but we don't um, know. We don't know. While we're talking about there. potential future geeks of the week, is it geeks yes. of the week or geek of the weeks? <laughs> it's like gov- the, the plural of governor general is governor's general, and that always like blew my fucking mind. I think it's geeks of the week because you can't have you know you can't be the geek of the week for more than one week. Sure, it's, sure. It's just greedy. Yeah, yeah, fair. Um, I, I read my favourite headline this week um, earlier on today, and uh, I, just, mm. I just want to read it out. Missing butterfly activist found dead. <laughs> now, <laughs> why do you I love this for activists? so many reasons. Yeah, for starters, I didn't know there were butterfly activists. I didn't know butterflies needed activists, and I didn't know that people had dedicated their lives to butterfly activism. Uh, this one's <laughs> specifically a monarch butterfly activist. So He's just trying to protect the butterflies. Yeah, um, and uh, he was missing, and now mm. he's been found murdered by Damn. people who he was protesting against for using the land that the monarch butterfly by traditionally big inhabits. Butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! This uh, I like this quote here. Uh, oh God, I'm going to mangle this name. Homero Arid Arid Aridius. I don't see Homero Aridius. Wrong. An environmentalist and poet who is a longtime defender of the butterfly reserve called the death like of Gomez. Put and poet in there. Yeah, he called the death of Gomez worrisome. It's worrisome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's been murdered. Well, that's worrisome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but why? Why is it worrisome? He goes on to say, "Well, I mean, if they can kidnap and kill people who work for the reserves, who's going to defend the environment in Mexico? That's why it's worrisome." <laughs> yeah, well, fucking. I guess. I don't know a lot about Mexico, 
uh, well, I, I learned a bit in uh, when I was watching Terminator Dark Fate. Oh, um, sure. So I guess I don't want to go there, I guess, is what I've learned. I mean, just fucking if anyone asks you how you feel about butterflies, say you fucking Fuck hate them. them. <laughs> yeah, yep. kill them all, yeah, man. Get rid of all of them. <laughs> yeah. If you're Mexican, all I learned. Uh, someone asks you if you like I, butterflies, I, you say no. <laughs> <laughs> So I've only been to Mexico once, and it was only for a, for a week or so. Um, but what, what I learned while I was in Mexico is there's already a wall separating the United States from Mexico. Um, yes. It's up already. So I don't know what all this talk mm. about is. Um, the Mexicans are fine with it. And all of the ones that I spoke to said, yeah, we're glad it's there. None of us would want to go to the United States. So, <laughs> and, and also, I'm being facetious. I'm... I know Mexico is quite a large country, and uh, and there are some lovely places in Mexico. I know that for a fact. So, this, I mean, it's I, the same I, as everywhere. There's great places and places where you'll be murdered yeah. for liking butterflies. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's called where we grew up in Western <laughs> Sydney. Man, I've been places in America where I was pretty sure I would have been murdered if I'd hung around much longer. So, uh huh, yeah, yeah. I, I I know I've been places in America where I thought I would be murdered while you peed on a building. That was Boston. You're, you're all good in Boston. Well, actually, no. The, I remember I sent you that article. People going be missing in, uh, while you're off yeah, in a building. That, I had drug dealers coming up we to in. me <laughs> from that pub we were in. People were getting murdered, and I got yeah, drugged. No, and Gar- I wandered Gary, off that Gary, line. Indiana. Gary, Indiana was the most terrifying place I've been. No, I mean I don't know only because I've Gary. Been the town's anyway. called Gary. It's where Michael Jackson's from. And it's, uh, Some guy named Gary was like, name the fucking town after me. And they're like, yep, yeah, Gary, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> it's a town in, in Indiana that, uh, like, you, you know how Detroit used to be quite like a wealthy place until, you know, it, the, the all the industry, industry that just died went up. to the mm-hmm. toilet. And yeah. now it's fucking, it's the most bizarre city because you have these huge mansions. One of them, people live in it and it looks beautiful. And the one right next door is collapsing in on itself. Like in, <laughs> you know, like uh, Only Lovers Left Behind. Those mansions, that's yeah. all in Detroit. Yeah. So Gary is like, if everything was like those collapsed mansions, except not mansions, just everything. <laughs> it's is just, just a shithole. And because we stopped there to go, so there's like a, an old cathedral that's collapsing and Jenna wants to take some photos. And we should have done a little more research first because it's actually the carjacking capital of the United States. Uh, v- oh, like damn. The, as in homicide. Uh, oh, carjacking. that's not just a Rape. get out the car. We're taking it. It's I'm gonna sh- I shoot you and then I take the car. Yes, and then along then comes us you. off the highway in our X5. Uh, yeah, that was fucking terrifying. Like as in, we stopped to take some photos, and people were coming out of the the collapsed buildings, looking at us, and uh, we were like, "Let's go." Yeah. God. Yeah, and yeah. we have some I have some photos of it. It was very scary and and sad too. Like I mean, it's yeah. sad that 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 exists in the fucking in the US. Terrifying. Yep, it's terrifying that any of that shit exists anywhere on this planet. Mm. Yep. Welcome to our comedy podcast. <laughs> yeah. Do we have <laughs> I mean, a I would. for places to avoid in the United States this week? Know. Gary, Indiana. <laughs> yep. Places to avoid. <laughs> um, a place not to avoid uh, is Vermont because it's fucking lovely up there. Vermont is fucking awesome, man. Yeah, I yeah, it's been beautiful. There yet. I've, been, I've been wanting to go though. Hey, come um, for a visit. We'll go up. We'll drive up. It's like three they're, hours away. They're doing one thing that I think is going to annoy me though up there in Vermont. <laughs> go on. Um, they're trying to pass a bill uh, to be able to use emojis. To customize their license plates. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I mean, every sorority girl's going to have the fucking heart, and everyone else is going to have either the shit or the fucking eggplant. <laughs> eggplant. How? Oh. I mean, I was going to say how they're going to print them, but I guess they can do that. It's in pursuit odd. of uh, black sedan license plate seven dick uh, water splashing the face emoji and then the number twelve. <laughs> um, I've just looked at uh, this. Yeah, Australia I've read this too. did I think it I... first. 
Yeah, Queensland, you can have We're emojis. We're already apparently. doing it. No. Apparently, Queensland, Australia, five people in the country's second largest state have been able to add one of five emoji to their... The, the plural is emoji, not emojis. I didn't know that. I used to call them emojis huh. with an S. I guess it's I guess it's emoji. like Italian, where an I makes it plural. Emoji. Hmm. Emoji. You can say it like that. And I'm, I'm doing that So I guess a hand. singular is probably emoji. emoji. You know the thing. The, the, the or emoji. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The emoji. Plural. That's, that's re- I, I didn't know this. How have I not seen this yet? <laughs> because you don't live in Queensland. Yeah, but we get a lot of people down and around. <laughs> <laughs> the five people who have the emojis. One of them must have been to Canberra I mean, by now. He he is married to a Queenslander, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but Queensland's a very big state. It, it is, yes. I mean, look, f- fine, fine. You can have. I'll let you have that. But I mean, jeez. <laughs> I don't think it's that strange. How about, how about only just hearing about this, though? Now, are they talking last Look, year or did uh, last year? Again. Or... <laughs> <laughs> they didn't let you know? No. Yeah. They didn't run this past me. Someone, someone needs to tell Luke about this. <laughs> I mean, we do have, obviously, a lot of listeners who could have written in and told us. Listeners, I'm looking at you. Yes, you, yeah. listener. So I'm... Uh... Oh no! See, I'm looking at. I'm looking at. I'm trying to find out what these five number plates are. But uh, <laughs> yeah. but every every picture I see, it's the same car with a different number plate on it. So I I put it to you that none of these are real. No, no, no! Oh. I've clicked on the link to the personalized plates Queensland, and I can yeah. go buy one right now. Holy shit! Yeah. What are the parameters Emoji of this, plates. Luke? Oh my god! It's you just you. Get to pick one of the plates that have one of the five emojis, and then you put in, I think, Hang on. a combination of five. Oh, did you say- The emoji is not part of the plate. It's just on the side. It's yes. just like an image. So it's not even like, it's not like it's just- you could have a poop in the middle of your plate number. It's like, it's just a little picture off to the side. Yeah. So but okay, it does, you- uh, it does reformat. Your number plate, so that it looks like it's one of the numbers, right? No, no, it's just on to off off on the end. So you still just, just the, put on the right hand side plate. of the plate. It just there's just an emoji slapped on. It's there. like when people okay. get ones for their sports teams and stuff like that. Exactly. And just to be clear, there are only five emojis to choose from: laughing with tears, yes. laughing with love hearts, laughing yep. with a wink, yes, just yep. plain smiling. And smiling with sunglasses. There's on. no poop or mm. eggplant there. <laughs> I like mm. how specific you were. He's smiling in all of them. There's no <laughs> sad wink. <laughs> Although that would be an amusing All right, emoji. Matt. Sad would wink. That. That'd be a good one. <laughs> I'm upset, but wink. I'm also making a double wink. entendre. <laughs> now, I had to just remind myself whether or not Vermont was the live free or die uh, state, nah. which is why they're- Easily letting this shit get through, but it's it's not. You do have to go through New Hampshire to get to Vermont from here. So yeah, that's where is you that pick the up your one? Booze. Is pick that also the one? New Hampshire. Is that also on the, the one way. where they have to pump the gas for you? No, that's uh, New Jersey and Oregon. Okay, mate. I fucking I choose who pumps my gas in New Hampshire. Right, that is my choice. <laughs> yep. No fucking politician right. can tell me who has to pump my fucking gas. Your, uh, they would not stand for that. In <laughs> Just make sure you fill up before you get there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bring your gun. That's all for this week. Thank you for listening and we hope you enjoyed the show. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe and iTunes to receive episodes automatically. We'll see you next time. <laughs>